This will be just be a brief introduction to renewable energy resources. I'm not going to talk about all the different types that are out there because this is going to be a project, something that you want to be able to learn about yourselves. But I will tell you what to kind of look out for in terms of what makes a renewable energy resource a renewable energy resource. Um, the sun is pretty important and we use it. Obviously, that probably gives you a hint that solar energy and you've probably seen solar panels around. Solar energy is an example of a renewable energy resource. So that's one that you could be looking at. There are plenty more, though. Um, the sad truth is that fossil fuels will run out one day. Some of them in our lifetime, in your lifetimes, maybe in my lifetime, maybe I'm getting too old, we'll find out. Um, the key thing here is that those fossil fuels are non-renewable forms of energy. Renewable forms are kinds that would be able to last us forever and ever as long as we keep up with the various types of technologies that are there. Uh, so scientists have been working on renewable energy resources and there's new stuff that's coming out all the time. The question is whether this stuff is sustainable, whether we can make it last, and if it's actually energy efficient or if we can actually afford it. If renewable energy it's so expensive that we can't actually use it, well, then it's better to kind of just use the cheaper fossil fuels and then not worry about our future, the children of the future, okay, like Michael Jackson tells us to. So think about all of that. So if you take a look at this little map of, uh, well, not a map, this little diagram here, we'll find out that the sun is the main source of energy for most of the possible renewable energy resources. So we think the sun's going to last us a pretty long time, right? Several several billion years. We don't really have to think that far ahead for now. Um, we're talking about grandkids of grandkids of grandkids of grandkids of grandkids to the power of 10, okay? Something ridiculous like that. So uh, if you just take a look at what's going on up here, um, the sun shines and it heats up the land, basically. And when it heats up the land, we end up getting hot air rising. So that's because hot air is less dense is less dense density is something you should try to understand if it's less dense it will rise that's that's why a hot air balloon basically rises you heat up the air inside the hair the air not the hair oh my gosh the air heats up spreads out becomes less dense and ends up moving higher than the more dense air basically and as that hot air moves up this is what actually causes wind air is going to move in to fill up that cap and that is wind and it has kinetic energy so we can actually use the wind energy for turbines and wind energy is a type of renewable energy resource air containing water cools as it rises and we get clouds starting to form clouds can turn into rain as they move over mountains then water moving down mountains has gravitational potential energy now you can turn turbines and these turbines can be a uh, part of hydroelectricity. Uh, there's all kinds of things that moving water can be used to help. And uh, tidal energy is also related to this, but it has more to do with the gravity from the moon, but it's still overall related to energy moving up and down. So wind helps to make waves, and waves have kinetic energy, and the wind and sun can evaporate water from the sea. I'm thinking about food again, and the sun provides energy for photosynthesis for all the plants. That's wonderful. Uh, in the food chain, though, something ends up eating those plants, which could be me if I am this cow, or I could be, if I'm a meat eater, then I might be eating hamburgers and steak. And so ultimately, all that energy that I'm getting from eating uh, a hamburger, all that energy originally came from the sun. So it's important to understand the role of the sun in all of that. Here's a diagram showing several of the different types of renewable energy that are out there. You should try to apply what we've learned before when we're looking at renewable energy resources. What are the types of energy that are involved? Kinetic energy, heat energy, light energy, and how is that energy being converted uh, into different forms? And what are those forms and why are they important? What is the end user form of that energy? So when I use it in my house, what kind of energy and I'm, am I drawing from the walls and what am I converting that to? But ultimately, how do each of these renewable energy sources uh, work? That is what you want to try to figure out in the end. And I hope to be hearing from you soon about the different types of renewable energy.